Zulu people are a nation of Ungunu-speaking people in Southern Africa. The Ungunu represents nearly two-third of South Africans' black population and can be divided into four district groups. The Northern and Central, Ungunu, the Zulu-speaking people, the Southern Ungunu, the Zosa-speaking people, the Swazi people from Swaziland and adjacent areas and the Undebele people of Northern Province and Umpalanga. The Zulu people are the largest ethnic group and nation in South Africa, living mainly in the province of KwaZulu-Natal. The word Zulu means sky, and according to oral history, Zulu was the name of the ancestor who founded the Zulu royal line. In mid-December 1878, envoys of the British crown delivered an ultimatum to 11 chiefs representing the then current king of the Zulu Empire, Shetswayo. Under the British terms, Shetswayo was required to disband his army and accept British sovereignty. Shetswayo refused and war between the Zulus and African contingents of the British crown began on January 12, 1879. The British won the battle at Rock's Drift and decisively defeated the Zulu army. After Shetswayo was captured, a month following his defeat, the British divided the Zulu Empire into 13 kinglets. The sub-kingdoms fought amongst each other. Shetswayo died in February 1884, killed by Zubeu's regime, one of the 13 kinglets. In 1970, the Bantu Homeland Citizenship Act provided that all Zulus would become citizens of KwaZulu, losing their South African citizenship. Hundreds of thousands of Zulu people living on privately owned black spots outside of KwaZulu were disposed and forcibly moved to Bantu stands, also known as Black Homeland. With that system, the government, controlled by the minority white population, enforced segregation between government defined races in housing, education, and virtually all spheres of life, creating in effect three nations one of whites consisting of people primarily of British and Dutch or Boer ancestry, who struggled for generations to gain political supremacy. The apartheid regime was disdained and even vehemently opposed by much of the world community, and by the mid-1980s, South Africa found itself among the world's rejected states. The subject of economic and cultural boycotts that affected almost every aspect of life. Eventually, Forced to confront the untenable nature of ethnic separatism in the multicultural land, the South African government of F. W. de Klerk between 1989 to 1994 began to repeal apartheid laws. That process in turn set in motion a transition towards universal suffrage and a true electoral democracy, which culminated in the 1994 election of a government led by the black majority under the leadership of the long-imprisoned dissident, Nelson Mandela. As this transition attests, the country has made remarkable progress in establishing social equity in a short period of time. The Zulu people celebrate an annual event that was established in 1984 called the Umlanga or Rith Dance. This traditional ceremony is performed by young women from all parts of the kingdom to perform in front of the monarch and his guest for eight days. The purpose of this event is to promote pride in virginity and to restrain sexual relationships. Beadwork is a prominent attire that is worn at the Umlanga. The Zulu people produce beautiful arts and crafts. Wood carving and melter working were two arts typically pursued by men. Zulu women practice beading, pottery, and basket weaving. Beads were also once an important part of courtship and marriage. Young women beaded love notes to their suitors. Beads were also included as part of the bride price. In addition, Zulu people have also developed many styles of music and dance. Of these, perhaps the most famous dances are the Undalamu and the Umlanga. The Undalamu is a coordinated dance based on traditional Zulu world dances. Both men and women participate in the dance, which requires precise timing, 
group movements and characteristics eye-stepping kicks. Hey, 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 h